I've recently made two tutorials about making a sports poster um, and somebody sent me a link to this video and asked if it was possible for me to sort of make a affinity photo version of this Photoshop tutorial. So I have had a go at this one. Um, it's not necessarily easy because there is no um, commentary with the video that tells you what is going on and it's done quite quickly even though I slowed down the video it was still fairly difficult to follow what was going on and as you can see there is a lot of steps um, so if I have missed the odd step um, I apologize but hopefully I got quite close one step I did deliberately miss out was adding these flares on the floodlights because the stadium that I had didn't really have a place to add these so I didn't add the flares on the floodlights um, but that is the only step that I knowingly haven't added and the end result I got was this one now obviously you don't have to make this just a sports poster it could be for anything I mean, it could be a rock star here with a stadium in the background or or anything in a snooker match but I mean whatever you want to add but this is the effect that we are going to be trying to aim for now some things you will need is obviously a picture of in this case a spokesperson I got this one from pixabay.com as I did with the stadium picture in the background and you also need some smoke paint brushes now if you don't have any smoke paint brushes you can do a quick search online just you know do a Google search for free Photoshop smoke brushes there are quite a load of them but what I've done is I've downloaded two onto mine and I'm going to be using these in this tutorial and I will add links to the Pixabay images and to these smoke brushes so we had these 20 smoke brushes volume one and this is sort of like very wispy smoke trails and the other one I've downloaded is smoke 2 with which is 15 of these and these are more sort of substantial smoke clouds um, now if you've never downloaded a brush before I mean you can just click on the free download it will put a zip file on your computer you just need to unzip it check for viruses and then you need to install it into Photoshop now I've done one of them already and I'm going to be adding this one here so what I'm going to do is come to the brushes tab up here and then there's a little menu icon here you click on that and come down to import brushes and then you just have to navigate to wherever it is that you have these installed um, I think it's let me go back to that one it's this one here the free smoke and Photoshop brushes and then just click open let me oh, I've got a highlight I've got to select it first and then open and then after a while it should come up with the message and it's been installed here we go so if I now come to the drop down menu those two brush sets the one I installed earlier and this is the one I installed just now so they are there and available now so I'm just going to close this down and this is the Pixabay Stadium image and this is the American footballer image that again got from pixabay.com so I'm going to start the tutorial properly now the first thing I need to do is to open a document a new one size is up to you but I'm going to go with 4000 by 3000 and I don't necessarily have to have a transparent background so I'll just 
um, take that tick out and just click OK. So there we have a new document and the first thing we want to do is to get the image of the spokesperson that you want to add. Now I'm going to do a very quick selection here using the selection brush. May not be the perfect selection but it will do for what I need for this particular tutorial. Pretty much there. Right. So. Can't see any major bits that I've missed. And that is good enough for for what I need. So I'm just gonna do a quick refine on that. And I'm going to refine it by just 0.5 of a pixel and then click apply and then I'm going to press Control and J to duplicate that selection onto a new layer I can press Control and D to get rid of the selection now um, and then I can right click that new layer come to copy come to our document and then edit and paste. So then it's just kind of a case of coming to the move tool and finding a position where you want this to go. You can resize it if you want, depending on your particular image. And I'm happy with that. What I will do is I will just quickly re rename this spokesman because there's going to be a lot of layers so I'm going to rename them if I can remember to do it um, so it sort of make it easier to keep track so then I need the stadium image so I just right click this copy and I'm going to need this actually behind the spokesman image but so I'll just paste it in at the moment and then I'll drag this down and below so it's now behind the spokesman image and it's just a case of resizing, repositioning until you're happy with how that looks behind so that is okay with me so I'll just rename this stadium again like I said just so I can keep track of the different um, layers that we, we will have open. Now you can if you want, like in my case here where the picture is quite bright, um, you can add a levels adjustment and just darken that down a bit. Don't, have, don't want it too dark but a little bit darker will help. So I'll just merge that into the sportsman layer which is not what I wanted to do control and Z sorry that should have been above the stadium so I'll merge that into the stadium picture so I didn't want to darken the sportsman very sorry for that first error right now we want to start adding some smoke so having the stadium layer highlighted I'm going to add a new layer I'm going to paint the smoke brushes onto the layer rather than the stadium layer just so if I don't like something I can delete it or move it around or whatever rather than destroying and affecting the background which I want to keep as it is so 
you to come to the paintbrush tool and select a brush so I'm going to go with the free smoke brushes because these are the more sort of substantial smoke brushes and then we need a color which are currently it is black so I'll make those white and then we just need to select a brush let's try 4096 you can see that's quite big we just lower it in size a little bit all right it's a bit too small let's Try that one like that. Try one of the other ones. Let's try this one, four, three, seven, two. Now again, it's quite big. Let me reduce that size. Let's put that one about there. And let's have one more. Let's try first one how much you add is up to you right that do so what I'll do is I'll rename this one lower smoke so next I want to highlight the sportsman layer add a new layer above that layer and this is where we're going to paint some more smoke but in this will be in front of him rather than behind and for that I'm going to use the other brush so that's the 20 smoke brushes which are a bit more wispy and won't sort of hide him so much so let's try that one and see what that looks like so again we can reduce the size or increase the size so let's one there and we can even do a couple of that one maybe let's try this one so how much you add is don't really want that one you don't want to obscure him too much. Just make it so he's looking like he's coming out of the smoke. I think one more will do. Let's see what this one looks like. No, don't like that one. Um, I'll just put that one. down there so I rename this one upper smoke what I will do is right click that and duplicate it that will make that quite a bit brighter let me come off this tool a second um, but I'm going to change the blend mode of this to color dodge and then just lower the opacity a bit just so it's adding a bit more oomph to those ones at the front but not too much so that's down to about eight percent so i will highlight both of those upper smoke layers and i will group them together and again i will rename the group upper smoke so I still know what is get what that layer is doing so next I want to highlight the sportsman layer and I'm going to come to the adjustments and I'm going to add the HSL adjustment but I am going to drag down this layer 
into the spokesman layer so it's only going to affect the spokesman so drag that down so that is now part and a group with the spokesman and I'm going to lower the saturation down to minus 50 and I can close that so it's just taking some of the color away from um, the spokesman so I'm going to do a very similar thing with this stadium so I'll highlight the stadium layer add the HSL adjustment and lower the saturation down to minus 50 or thereabouts 49 that would do um, you could leave this where it is as it's only above the very last layer but I'm just going to merge that down and in to the stadium so now we've taken away a lot of the color from the stadium and the spokesman but left uh, all the whiteness in the clouds and not affected them right so now I'm going to come to the lower smoke layer highlight that let me just shut that group a second tidy that up and again I'm going to come to the brush tool but I'm going to come back to the basic brushes and just select the largest round brush with a soft edge but even if it hasn't got a soft edge we'll, we'll make it so we've got hardness here so I'm going to reduce the hardness down to zero and size I'm going to increase that as far as it will go so as you can see it's quite big so now we just need a color so I'm going to double click on the foreground color to open up the color chooser now what I want here is a yellow um, which I'm, I'm going to be using the RGB so the red is going to be 187 green is going to be 200 and the blue is going to be 42 um, if you want the hex number is BBC82A so I'll just close that and I'm going to add a new layer above the lower smoke layer and I'm going to paint onto that so I'm just going to come to the sort of just behind his head and slightly to the right think about there do I'm just going to click the once and then I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer to screen and you could either keep the opacity as it is or lower it down just to sort of take some of that color away anywhere from about 60% to around the 80 I'm going to make that 80% and let me just rename this one yellow just so I know that what that is so I'm just going to add another layer above that layer and I'm still on the brush tool but this time I'm going to change the color to blue so I'm going to open up the color picker again and this time I'm going to go with a red that is 42 a green that is 133 or a blue that is 236 which will give you a hex code of 2A85EC if you prefer hex codes so and this one I'm going to come lower down and more to the left I'm going to put it about about there I think so again we're going to change the blend mode to screen 
and I don't think I really need to lower the opacity because it's not really showing up so much it's just adding a hint of blue to the that side of him um, but depending on your picture and your stadium and what have you you may want to alter those colors so let me just come off that tool quickly right so coming to the sportsman layer now I'm gonna click on the FX button now this was in the Photoshop tutorial and to be perfectly honest I couldn't see what difference it made but I will add it in and it was just a case of um, adding an inner shadow so I'll put a tick in inner shadow click on the word to bring up the effects and then it's just a case of finding or getting a 50% grey I can do this from um, I'm not graying this one, is it swatches? I want swatches. And then come to the greys and then just find the 50% grey, which is that one. And the opacity I'm going to leave at 50%. Change the blend mode to color dodge and move the radius up to 10 make it easier to type this in 10 and the intensity was also 10 like I said I can't see any difference in that particular image it might work better on other images but so I'm gonna just close that and move on Right, so next I want to highlight the stadium layer and then add another layer above that and then we're going to flood fill this with a colour so that's, that's what we need a colour let me just open this up so again we do need um, a, a blue colour so, so the red is going to be 27 green is going to be 77 and the blue is going to be 133 which will give you a hex code of 1B4D85 and let me just close that and I'm going to come to the flood fill tool and then I'm going to just click on that layer so it will flood fill it with all the the whole background so what I'm going to do next is change the blend mode of this layer from normal to color which will make the whole background very blue but lower the opacity down to 50% just so there is just a hint of color coming through and you can still see the yellow and some of that blue that was in that layer that was in the smoke but if you wanted to you could always duplicate that blue layer just to give that bit of extra glow let me just group those two together rename that blue but you don't have to do that it's optional it's just giving that a bit of extra blueness because it's lost a lot of the blue in this last step that we just done right the next step in the original tutorial was putting in the floodlight lens flares now what you could do I'm, I haven't got a actual floodlight up there to work with but if I add a layer above that blue layer which I've just done and I come to the brush tool make the color white and lower the uh, size let's assume I have a floodlight somewhere 
up here for example let's set that maybe on there let's add one there and maybe another one over here so I've got an imaginary floodlight there so as you can see that sort of gives you that extra glow effect um, I don't know whether I can't remember whether he changed the blend modes see screen is okay but I mean normal it's pretty much okay you could just leave it on normal you could always lower the opacity if you just wanted that hint of a light there but I'm going to leave mine a hundred percent so I have these imaginary floodlights here so that is a step that you can add if you want to let me just rename that floodlights so I know what that is right the next one is to highlight the very top layer and add a layer above this now again we're going for the brush tool and this time we're going to go for a very large brush size again and we're still on white and it's just adding a bit of let me bring this down a bit so I can get this sort of imaginary light source coming from above let's go something like that there so you just got that extra light source coming from over there and you can add more it's just adding to the haziness of the background and I seem to have accidentally have added one on this side as well but I will leave it there it adds to the effect again you could always lower the opacity and or the blend mode let me just bring this back to about 60 percent so it's just adding a bit of extra haze and s from the smoke or what have you to that we we'll just I'm just going to rename this one haze right so now we want to come to the we want the behind the sportsman layer so I'm going to highlight that layer that's below the sportsman which in my case is the blue layer and here we're going to add some text I'm going to come to the artistic text tool I'm going to make sure that white is the color you can always what I need is sorry let's add a new layer above that just to make that easier to do so I've got the text tool change the color to oh, let's go here change it to white like I said you can always change the color later on pick the font that you want I'm going to be going with Armo Sans but you can pick whatever color you like and as I've no idea what this chap's name is I'm going to make up a name and just call him Adam Smith so I've come to the move tool and I can just move it to wherever I want it so let's put it about there so I don't really need to change the name of that because it's already listed there so what I now want to do is on that blank layer which I made before I did the text I'm going to add a rectangle from the rectangle tool I'm going to make the fill color black and then I just want to draw a box across the screen but make it the width or just slightly higher than the width of the text or whichever text you put in Go. 
Right. So I'm then going to lower the opacity of this black box down to about 45 percent, 50, yeah, around 45, 50 percent, 47 percent. That's close enough. And then I'm going to select the text layer as well as this rectangle and I'm going to group those two together and then I'm just going to call that text. So I can, once I'm on the move tool, I can now move both of these around if I want. If I didn't like that position I can put it elsewhere but that is okay where that is. Okay, so if you're happy with where all things positioned are and the text and what have you and the smoke, um, if you're not making those alterations now, because what we're going to do now is highlight the top layer, right click and merge visible. So now we have a single layer that is made up of everything that we have done so far. So I'm going to then add a HSL adjustment and I'm going to select it's already on, it's on master but I'm going to select a color that is the main color of the person's strip in my case it's going to be blue but in the like the Photoshop tutorial the chap was wearing a yellow shirt so hit the Photoshop tutorial went for yellows but I'm going to go for blues and I'm just going to bring up the saturation um, to where I mean that's a bit too much just add a little bit extra to the color and I've gone for about 8% now and I'm just going to merge that down into the picture because in my case it's also going to bump up the blue in the background because there's quite a lot of blue there as well so I didn't want to go too far with that. Next I want to come up to filters, sharpen and unsharp mask. I'm going to leave it on the default setting and just click apply. That's just added a bit of sharpening to the image. Next adjustment is going to be a gradient map and uh, let me just get rid of this middle one just by dragging it off the screen and what I want is black on the left hand side and white on the right and then we want a soft light blend mode and lower the opacity down to 65-70% you get a 65 and then merge that in to the top layer um, next we want another gradient map on top of this one um, now this time I do want all three nodes on this but the left hand one click on that first change the color now I'm going to do this via the hex number and this is going to be four one zero zero two eight Then on the middle one, the code is going to be 834C0A. And then on the right hand one, the hex code is 98 six five 
zero zero. So again, from sort of a red, and then slowly going down to orange and a more sort of more yellowy orange. So again, we're going to change the blend mode, and again, it's going to be soft light, and the opacity. Drop this down to about 35 percent. You can go a bit higher depending on your taste. I mean, 50 percent is okay. And then I can close that. And that really is the end of the tutorial. Hopefully, this is answers the or gives the result that the person who asked me to do this once all you need to do now is to save this under a new name and thank you for watching and goodbye